bit of a local one today. Obviously, we're currently in lockdown. Uh, the weather is crap every single day, pretty much. It's quite mild at about 13 degrees, but um, yeah, overcast, spitting with rain and probably muddy. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty chilled one. Um, this is actually a bike trail. So um, here we are at what is actually a fairly local trail for me. Obviously a lot of noisy dogs barking and squeaking, a lot of dog walkers, but I am on a cycle route. They've got like an XC cross country trail. Um, not that you can make it out because there's so many leaves down. However, uh, Yeah, so I'm actually back on the Hero 8 today. I've had a few issues with the Hero 9. One of them being low light. Um, I do think it suffers from uh, struggling in low light conditions, like today, and like most of my riding will be. So yeah, kind of found out about this place by accident. Uh, someone I ride with now and again saw him post up some videos on Instagram of some downhill jumpy sections and he said it was here uh, that is separate to this route so here really just for a short ride and just to get out get some fresh air did a terrible job of cleaning a bike yesterday and uh, yeah I don't know if anyone else can relate but cleaning bikes it's got to be the least fun part about mountain biking it's just not for me and to make things worse, kind of cleaned it in the dark. And then once it came out in the light, it looked absolutely terrible. But yeah, anyway. Let's see if we can. Pill strike. So yeah, it's kind of muddy. Muddier than I'd have hoped. But it's pretty much been raining non-stop on and off for a few weeks now. So I guess it's to be expected to some degree. And it is pretty much winter. So yeah. Just about make it. Another little downhill section coming up. Drop this dropper. I did come here the other week with Andy, uh, one of my mates who I ride with now and again. And uh, what can I say? It was not quite as wet as it is today. Yeah, so bikes already covered as you'd expect. Every single ride you have to wash the bike now, pretty much. 
And to be honest, my bike is due, it's pretty much due a full strip down and clean up. I need to lubricate everything, bleed the brakes. So yeah, uh, finding it really difficult to um, find the motivation to get out and ride lately. Obviously with the weather, the weather's kind of crap, it gets dark early and it's just so easy to stay inside and not do anything. Watch TV and yeah, not get out. So I don't know, you have to really push yourself to go out and ride. It helps if you've got friends, family you can ride with, but obviously being in the lockdown situation that we are, uh, yeah, can't always can't always travel to fun riding spots and can't always or shouldn't meet up with friends and family well people outside your social bubble and all that so yeah kind of uh, tricky but still if you've got the opportunity to get out and ride uh, yeah you just need to make the most of it you can still have fun even though the weather's a bit rubbish uh, and there are days where the trails, depending on where you live, the trails can run all right in the winter. So it just depends on your luck, where you live. See, this part of the trail is really nice, kind of pine needly, loamy, as you can see, or hopefully see. Some of you might have seen the new Santa Cruz Bullet. Well, that came out today, or at least it was launched today. I must say, I'm liking the look of that. And the Santa Cruz bullet appears to be basically like a nomad or a mega tower. Um, it is a mullet setup or mixed wheel. So you have your 29 on the front, 27.5 on the back, and it's 170 mil travel, just like the nomad, just like this is. Uh, so you think uh, basically, effectively a motorized version of this bike, which yeah, that's definitely of interest to me. Um, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what you lot think, but if you uh, if you hate it or rate it, then obviously drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm not overly keen on the colours, like a purpley colour with yellow decals, and then a brown colour. With black decals or stickers um, yeah I'd probably go for the brown I don't think the purple pinky purple is really for my to my liking but uh, yeah it is very expensive though starts at seven thousand six hundred pound 
and for that you don't even get the new Shimano motor you get the old the old motor or the current one so to get the new motor and to get the 38 Fox 38 you need to spend 8200 <coughs> so yeah quite a pricey bike um, but very nice nonetheless and if you've got that sort of money then you may as well go for it if that's of interest to you Obviously, we're working our way towards the end of 2020. I'm just trying to get in our last few rides as frequently as possible, or rather, as frequently as I have motivation for. It's the more accurate term. Um, as I said, it is hard to motivate yourself to go out and ride, even though it is a fun thing to do. Obviously, when the weather's rubbish, you have a big clean up to do potentially um, and I have thought about just going on like a street ride keep the bike clean but get some exercise obviously the Nomad's a little bit overkill for, for street riding but uh, you know exercise is exercise and you've just got to get out on the bike that you've got so um, this I believe it's managed by the same people as uh, Aspley Woods, Aspy guys, I can't remember what it's called exactly, but Woburn, the Woburn area. Not the jump spot, but the kind of XC trails around there. Um, so it's very close and it's similar kind of terrain, I would say. A little bit sandy in places and yeah, kind of pretty good fun to ride. Your usual kind of trail ride XC stuff a little bit undulating but uh, no crazy downhills or crazy uphills so as you can see some cool little trails here Oh, even if they are a little bit sloshy <laughs> I'm sure they'll flow a lot better in the summer without a doubt I think today we'll probably continue on past the jump spot which was back there and I will see if I can come back and do a bit more of a video on the jump spot um, well, I've got a couple of runs that I can put in from last time or well, the first time when me and Andy came um, I will put them in at the end of the video I guess if you wanna they're very short and sweet but gives you an idea of what sort of uh, what sort of riding is on offer okay well I think we've got enough light so we will go for it one of the things I've been meaning to get or thinking about getting rather is is um, some bicycle lights um, I'd like to get into night riding however they are very expensive the proper lights so to commit to buying you know 500 pounds worth of lights you've really got to be able to get your money's worth out of them 
and I don't know if I would or not to be quite honest so I'm thinking maybe I just get a light for the helmet helmet mount just to increase increase the length of the ride a little bit when the light starts fading so yeah my theory being like now it's going to get dark within the next hour but if I had say a half decent head torch mounted to the helmet uh, it would allow me to ride not into full darkness but you know when the light's fading at least I know I can get home as opposed to having to worry about making sure I'm well back back within lots of time um, so I don't get completely lost and stranded in the dark obviously it's not so it's not much of an issue when you're um, riding a relatively small place like this but still in the dark obviously things can you can become disorientated and also if you do have an accident close to close to full darkness then uh, it would be handy to be able to see your way back uh, you break a chain puncture whatever obviously that half an hour ride could turn into an hour's an hour's walk or so And these bits are really dry. Hopefully the lens isn't dirty. This bit's like it hasn't seen any rain. It's very strange. I guess it's because it's at the top of the hill. Exposed to the wind and any bits of sun we get. Goes through here. Well anyway, it's good to um, it's good to have found somewhere to ride that's not um, not too far away. Obviously I do have to drive here. It takes 20 25 minutes in the car or van. But it's one of the closest things I've got to um, trails that I can ride that are relatively close Oh, 
back brake is definitely in need of a bleed i've been saying it for ages now i keep forgetting to do it but the bite point is uh really inconsistent now and like now i'm pulling it coming all the way to the bars almost and that is not ideal very strange hopefully it's not got a leak okay whoa i flicked up loads of mud <laughs> this is a proper off-roady bit this is not what i expected i thought i was going to drop into this and it'll be a flowy downhill but it's not I mean, maybe it is in the summer, but it's... Oh. oh my God. Can I have to crank through this bit? It's thick. And now we are back at the car park. Finished. Or well, back at the start anyway, where we started. So that is the end of today's ride. Um, yeah, if you can take anything from this video, I would say is to go out and explore whatever you have local. You never know what trails you might find as I have found this trail. So uh, yeah, even, I don't know if you can see in the distance there, uh, but that white van over there says Firecrest. Pretty certain that is Ian, the guy that runs uh, Aston Hill. So obviously, obviously Aston Hill closed because of the fact that it's like a leisure kind of sporting venue. And during this lockdown, they those sort of places have to close, like gyms and stuff. So yeah, I guess he's probably here on his bike because um, he can't go out at Aston Hill. So he's here riding these trails. Um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video anyway. Um, I've enjoyed riding, even if the conditions are a bit crappy. Um, hopefully tomorrow I will come back early if the weather permits and I'll feature the downhill trails and make another video of those. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that video. If not tomorrow, then it will be one of the next videos. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh. Where's he going? Oh. Right. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that was fun, though. Sweet, short and sweet. Oh, a pedal strike! Fuck! That wasn't very clever. <laughs> <laughs>